face. So let's do these gorgeous pinks. I'm gonna start with some eye primer. You need to start with some eye primer, only a tiny, tiny bit. Just about that much for both my eyes. It's really just gonna help so your colors are true to color, help so your eye makeup won't crease. Definitely very important to have the best and longest wear of your colors. And then I'm just gonna let it dry on my eyes for about a minute or two, and then I'm gonna go in with the eye look. Okay, now that that's dry on my eyes, we're gonna start with this discreet, this light uh, matte, almost little peachy undertone um, color. It's just gonna help so all the colors transition. I'm using a blending brush, which is a big fluffy brush, just to apply a little bit of product under my brow and just slightly below. Um, like right on my brow bone type thing. Okay, now I'm gonna go through with this Hesitant. This is a light matte um, pink, like a dusty rose pink. Just gonna get a little bit and I'm gonna put this right on my brow bone and we're just gonna keep slowly working our way darker. Basically what this is. So we're gonna do a halo eye today which means it's darker on the outer inner color and lighter right in the middle of the eyelid. Excited for this look. How pretty, how pretty is that pink? It's not like overly pink, but it's perfect just as that transition color right there. Of course, you can just wear that honestly alone, like all over the eyelid and it would be gorgeous. <laughs> Do the same thing on the other eye. Now that we got that all done, we're gonna go on to this fervent color. It's like a dark, purpley-ish, pinkish, burgundy color. I don't even know how to describe it. As soon as you see it on, um, you'll understand. Uh, I'm going through with their angled brush. This is a smaller brush so I can get more defined areas. I'm putting it at the outer V, bringing it through my crease, keeping it kind of low, not too, too high up, and then bring this in the, the front area. I'm gonna add a little bit more product and then we are going to start blending. Again, I'm leaving the middle area open. And it doesn't have to blend in perfectly in the middle. That's not what matters the most. Blending it up is what we're gonna focus on. I'm also gonna bring a little color right here and right here. And apparently on my nose as well. <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, now that I got that color done, we're gonna go to Optimistic, and I'm gonna use the sponge side of this angled brush, and just put this right in the middle. This color is seriously so gorgeous. Okay, I'm putting the other side on the middle, and then we're gonna start blending. off slightly and then I'm doing little tapping motions to blend And then just a tiny bit in the middle part below. I'm 
I normally do my mascara after my lashes, so this is definitely Oh my this after my lashes, after my eyeshadow. So it's definitely different putting this up top with some mascara. Okay, let's end with some wings. So we're gonna use our black, which is called Perfect Liquid Liner, and we're gonna do some wings. So I start my wings from the outside, I come down, and then I work my way over. Now we got those wings done. We're gonna do an ombre lip with these two liners right now. Uh, we got pristine, we're gonna put in the middle and we're gonna put pompous um, lip liner. So this is a lip liner, this is an eyeliner, but I'm doing both of my lips. And get this gorgeous ombre lip. Now that we look like a crazy person, we're going to use some lovable gloss, put this on top, and blend together, and we'll look, you know, maybe a little less crazy. <laughs> okay, now that we just blend, 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 that's awesome, this lip. That matches the eye. I love an ombre lip. It just makes your lips look fuller. It's so awesome. I hope you guys enjoy this pink look and everybody have a good one.